The Norwegian heavy water sabotage was a series of Allied operations during World War II aimed at preventing Nazi Germany from acquiring heavy water, deuterium oxide, a key component for nuclear reactor development and potentially for building nuclear weapons. Heavy water was produced at the Weimork hydroelectric plant near Rukan, Norway. Germany had invaded Norway in April 1940 and took control of the plant, operated by Norsk Hydro. The Allies feared that Hitler's regime was trying to develop an atomic bomb and that heavy water was crucial to this effort. Key Operations 1. Operation Grouse, October 1942 Four Norwegian SOE, Special Operations Executive Agents, were dropped by parachute into the Hardanger Vita Plateau. Their job was to recon the area, establish contacts, and prepare a landing site. Successful, despite harsh winter conditions. 2. Operation Freshman, November 1942 A failure. Poor weather and navigation errors led to crash landings. Survivors were captured and executed by the Gestapo under Hitler's commando order, which violated the Geneva Conventions. 3. Operation Gunnerside, February 1943. The raid was highly successful, destroying critical equipment and halting heavy water production for months. The sabotage missions are considered some of the most successful acts of resistance in World War II. The events have been depicted in several films and documentaries, most famously in the 1965 movie The Heroes of Telemark. If you like this content and want more like these, please subscribe, like, and share. See you very soon in another video. Till then, please take good care of yourself and your loved ones. Thanks for watching.